Thank you for voting. Here's your I Voted sticker. Thank you. Hi. Hello. Thank you for voting. Here's your I Voted sticker. Oh, thank you. I have a question here. How can I help you, sir? I was doing pretty good on this ballot, but these school board candidates I don't know from Adam. This Jefferson Davis fellow, for instance, I've heard the name, but I don't know what he stands for. I don't want to make a mistake and help elect some hothead I don't agree with. Right. Can you tell me something about them? I'm sorry, I can't influence you in any way. I'm not allowed to tell you about the candidates, but I suggest at the next election that you look at the voter's guide from the League of Women Voters. Women Voters? Mary's been lobbying me about that. Say, this isn't some biased thing where they're trying to fool me into voting for someone. Oh no, not at all. Actually, what they do is they ask the same question of all the candidates on different issues and print their complete answers, no sound bites. Well, they're as honest as... I, I can't remember his name, but they're very, very honest. Where can I find this voter's guide? Oh, that's easy. You can go to community centers, and some of the leagues will mail them to you. And of course, they'll be in most of the libraries. I love libraries. I walk for miles to borrow or return a book. But what if I'm riding circuit to represent clients out of town? How do I get one then? Oh, we've got the answer to that too. That's very easy. Take your laptop and go to vote411.org. Looking for an honest candidate? Get your voter's guide from the League of Women Voters. Or go to vote411.org.